okay? Uh, there's something called gray swans, all right? So a great, a pandemics were gray swans. Or, or, you know, gray swans means events that have these characteristics of very small number of events determine large part of the total effect, like small uh, a small number of events, a uh, small number of wars have killed most of the people, stuff like that, pandemics. So there's gray swans, and you can say they have a structure. You predict them ahead of time, you don't know, okay? But we, what we do is you can figure out if an environment is fragile or not. And in, in a fragile environments, you can say, okay, this is prone to break if there's a shock. Like in 2007, we knew that the banks were fragile. Mm. Why? They were net short volatility. That's sort of my fragility work mm -hmm. in, in, in anti-fragile. To answer your question, I wrote anti-fragile, which on its own became a monster, right? Uh, of, uh, but but the, the, the whole idea is to figure out what can be uh, have cascading uh, effects from shocks, mm -hmm. okay? As I wrote in The Black Swan, it's foolish to say what color truck is going to break a fragile bridge, okay? But it is not foolish to say this bridge is fragile, it's going to break one day, don't cross it. Don't, don't, or, 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 or invite your enemies to, you know. Okay, okay. What, what areas yeah. of fragility do you oh, see right okay. now? So the first one. I'm learning. Is, no, the fir okay. So the What's first. What's yeah. the, the first one. Is we have a I don't know if you're aware of it maybe people aren't aware yet that I don't know if we know we have a deficit. Right? Oh, I heard and, about this. And you know that that you have to borrow, you know, to pay for the interest rates, for the interest. Uh, right. ex, uh, you know the the, uh, the the debt that you've had before, and at four north of 4% interest rates, 4 to 5% interest rate, this is significant. It means you can have a snowballing effect. You have to borrow more and more. And you know that they're not fixing the budget problem, except verbally. Say, hey, we're going to fix the budget. It's all the same story. Uh, the structure of the political system, unfortunately, is driving us there. Okay, So this is one source of fragility, one main source of fragility, Okay, is that the political system is not adapted to that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So what happened in the Western world? It's not just the case of the United States. It's the case of the Western world because you got to look at it as I describe an anti-fragile, think of an S-curve. Like China can have rapid growth because they're pulling people out of their beautifully landscaped countryside to pull them in apartment blocks. That maybe it's not pleasant for, for the people, you know, to, to live in, in boxes, but that generates a huge amount of economic growth, okay? So a lot of people going up the so-called development scale, you're, you're on the convex part of the S-curve, okay? The West is on the concave part of the S-curve. Mm. So which means that you, mean, you have two car, most, except New, York, New Yorkers live in small boxes like, like, like uh, poor people in the Middle Ages. But uh, outside New York City, in a real, most people have two car garages, stuff like that. So you, 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 we can't, you can't grow, right? Yeah. And you don't have poor people, so you have to import them from El Salvador, Panama, a lot of people. You don't have poor people. So, so you don't, to create that kind of thing. And, 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 even, and now you don't want them anymore. You don't, they don't want, you don't want everybody, you know. So, so they have a problem. Is that growth in America is structurally declining? Yeah. Well, at the same time, the debt burden is structurally increasing. You see that diversion, yeah. and that applies to the rest of the developed world, because you've developed, you're arriving to destination. Why are you still borrowing? Yeah. The problem is most countries tend to borrow when they're already rich, when they don't need it anymore. Just like people. So like people on Wall Street, these people are on Wall Street, they probably borrow a lot. Now they're already <laughs> rich, all right? Whereas poor people don't borrow. So that's a big problem. That's number one problem. The second one is China is representing a larger, larger share of GDP of the world. And so you're going to think that geopolitics aren't going to be the same. Yeah. And you don't want to live, you know, in the wrong century. Think you're living in this century, thinking you're in a different century.